Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that ticket. And that ticket is one of my best selling designs on Adobe Stock. And I'm going to show you how to draw it, what artboard do you need for that ticket and what fonts used in that designs. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Now you see my contributor account on Adobe Stock and here my ticket. The tickets is one of the golden themes on stocks and it's one of my top themes in my portfolio. As you see here, I have a lot of designs with tickets and if you write in my portfolio ticket you will see here a lot of a lot of designs on theme tickets if you want to see a little closer my portfolio you can see it below that video you will find there the link on my portfolio and now let's go to adobe illustrator guys if you want to see my last sales of the design and want to know why buyers need the ticket I invite you to my telegram channel there you will find post about the ticket and my last sales okay guys now you see my ticket the first I want to tell you what the size of my artboard here the size is 6500 pixels to 6500 pixels and now let's start to create the ticket I am going to show you here the main principles. And at first, let's create the rectangle. We have here design in the retro style, so the colors should be in pastel style. And now let's uh, take red color and create the second rectangle like this now we need to align shapes like this and now we need to take ellipse tool hold shift to make circle okay and put the ellipse here now hold out and make copy the second here the third in that place and one more here okay we have here four circles we need to select all circles and rectangle tool uh, sorry and rectangle and pathfinder minus front Okay, now we have the shape of the ticket. Now we need to create the next texture here. We need to take again ellipse, create the circle. Now hold out, make copy. Now Ctrl D as many times as you need it. Okay. And now let's select all these ellipses, make them smaller like this. Now let's uh, align them a little and, ma and make them a little uh, bigger like that. Okay, now copy and paste and put the copies here now you need to select only red shapes and select that one and pathfinder minus front okay it's ready uh, now let's uh, move on let's create rectangle with light color one here and one more in that place now ellipse tool and again we need to 
create here four ellipses. And we need again to select all elements and Pathfinder minus front. Do the same here and here. Okay, it's ready. Now let's take line tool, the light color in the stroke and create here the line. The size let it be, for example, 10. And we need, well, you can stay, stay the shape like this or you can change to dash line and the size of dash line should be for example 100 or 150 as you like and you can make it rounded okay let's make the line fatter for example 15 Okay, it's ready. And now we need to add the text. Guys, now I'm going to show you how to add fonts on that design. And I'm going to use not that fonts what I used in my design. I'm going to show you others fonts in retro style, of course. But I want to show you what you can use others fonts, but your design still will be creative and of course in retro style. All fonts will be free and they will be 100 commercial free from Google fonts. So you can use them in your commercial designs. Okay, now let's continue. Now let's take text tool and write all text ticket, admit one, and numbers. Now let's change the fonts. You will find all fonts below this video. And here let's take that one okay and now we need to create outlines right click create outlines for every text okay it's ready now let's make ticket a little bigger like that now let's move that ticket here and admit one one let's make a little bigger select you can change the color here and change the color for the one now rotate put in that place and make a little bigger okay it's ready and now you can take color here for the ticket and if you want you can add the line here with red color in the stroke and the size let it be for example 20 and make the copy move here and you can add the star, take star tool, tool and put the star in that place and one more here, like this, okay. And of course you need to align all texts, it's very important to align text. Okay, it's ready and for example, you can uh, select these elements and bring them a little down and make it wider like that. Okay, align. It's ready. Okay, guys, and now uh, about the shadow, I have here um, the shadow using Gaussian blur. Let's 
take gray color and create rectangle tool to see our rectangle and bring it to back okay now I need to uh, take pencil with plus and move that point a little up with direct selection tool now let's take um, gradient we need to take gradient here from white to black and put that slider here add one more slider in that place take light color and now let's change black color to gray okay you can stay the shadow like this or you can change here to Gaussian blur for example like that 21 okay guys the ticket is ready well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos in the graphic design